Welcome back. It's an easy way to make an impact uh, this holiday season for hundreds of kids. We have Wanda Taylor from St. Luke's Crittenton Children's Center is here uh, with details on the Adopt an Angel program. Wanda, welcome to Better Kansas City. Thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. So tell us about uh, the, the Adopt an Angel and how does it help the children here at St. Luke's Crittenton Children's Center? Okay, thank you very much for being here. Crittenden, we're a mental health facility. Okay. We work with children ages 3 to 18, and we have programs from a psychiatric hospital to residential treatment and um, also foster care. So those oh, children wow. at Christmas time, we want to provide gifts for them. Oh, wonderful. And so all of our children in residential treatment, our kids who wake up on Christmas morning in the hospital get gifts. Our children in foster care get gifts mm. as well. And um, a few of our other programs. I can only imagine what it's like to be in the hospital waking up on Christmas Absolutely. morning, you know. I mean, it's kind of like your worst case scenario as a parent, but then as a kid, too, you know, you're waking mm -hmm. up there. And, uh, how neat is that to see the reaction on their face when they get a present first thing on Christmas morning? It's very wonderful, especially for our kids who are in residential treatment. Yeah. Kids who are in residential treatment, they are with us for about five months to mm. a year, so it's home for them. Yeah. So when they wake up on Christmas morning, there's a big bag we call a Santa bag filled with gifts and there's a stocking hanging on their door oh, cool. and when they open their door in the morning there's a stocking filled with very fun things and <laughs> candy and little gifts and then their big Santa bag with all of their presents yeah. in it and it, it's very exciting and some kids have said it's the best Christmas that they've ever had really for some they have not had gifts for Christmas. Oh, I bet. Right. So if people are watching and they want to get involved, I know there's a couple of different ways for them to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, one is wrapping some of the presents. And I know you said a lot of that is full, but there's another yes. way people can help from home too. Oh, ab absolutely. We, um, we still will get some children um, in our care between now and Christmas whose okay. lists we don't already have. Mm -hmm. So if there are people out there who at the last minute could uh, be contacted to ab to adopt a list mm -hmm. of gifts and go shopping right away oh, wow. um, to get some gifts because we manage about 225 foster care cases yeah. in the ca in three different counties and so some of those kids unfortunately will be picked up in care between now and even Christmas Day mm -hmm. so we need people on the spot who will go shopping get those gifts and we get them wrapped and not that any more any of the kids are any more important than the others but I can only imagine having to go through that process that close to Christmas yes. I and mean, how Scary. How would that make you feel as, as a child? But then to have that kind of support with you guys and what, yes. what other people donate and bring, that's, that's it's amazing. Heartwarming. Yeah. It's heartwarming. It's um, heartwarming. For a child, it's very scary and traumatizing. So when they wake up and they see Santa came, yeah. Santa came, Santa knows where they are. And putting, putting them in a good, good headspace, then, you Absolutely. know, in a positive track, that's got to help. In, in it treatment, does. Doesn't it, it? Yes, it does yeah. help in treatment. Another way that people can help, and they can do this all year long. Mm -hmm. I brought with me some samples of cards. We call them caring cards. Okay. And when kids come into our hospital, they're coming into our psychiatric hospital for one of two reasons. Okay. Either they're a danger to themselves or they're a danger to others. Mm -hmm. And we know through research, once they're discharged from the hospital, if they receive a card, an encouragement card, within a couple weeks of being in the hospital, it helps them to stay better longer. Yeah. So we ask people to either come to our campus as a group or individuals and and make these cards or it's something that they can do on their own yeah. as well and they're just homemade cards and that one inside this says, one says just a note to say and it says you are fantastic and i think that's a great message right there yeah. wanda we appreciate your time and and thank you so much for being here this morning uh, and real quick if people want to help uh, here we go if you'd like to participate in st luke's crittenton children's center's annual adopt an angel program you've got until december 6th for more information call 816-767-4124 or email adopt an angel at saint-lukes.org right there on your screen